I mean, I, I use the gravy leaves back home and uh, back in Wisconsin, and they've always been really good for me. Uh, they've held up really good, and now this year, this is our first one that we're trying out. And uh, but I like them, and we go with the 36 inch here because just about every lawn we have has a small 36 inch back gate. Okay, so we used to run with the big Dixie choppers and all that kind of stuff, and you know those I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. But um, now we realize, I mean, we lost a lot of business because we couldn't get into the backyards, and we did not want to take and put a, a push mower on this thing. That's the other reason to have these stand on mowers. The stand on mowers don't wear your guys out so much. Um, if you could have went with a walk behind, now we've had those too. So you're walking behind it all day. Well, the more steps your guys have to make, the more it wears them out, the slower they get, the less work in the end that they get done. So if you go with the stand on mowers, you're just zipping around those lawns and you throw it right back on. And it's actually shorter than what the, the walk behinds are. Okay, so it's a shorter circumference here. Um, that's what's nice about these things. They're very quick, zero turn, just whip around everything fast. You can get into all the back gates. Again, you don't have to carry a push mower or a walk behind. You see so many guys that have a big mower on their trailer, the push mower, a walk behind. They have all that cluttering things up. If you get to a job where you've got to get in that backyard right away, now you got to take two pieces of equipment off the truck just to get at your push mower, just to go back there and push it back and forth and wear your guys up. Heck with that. It's just ridiculous. So uh, our guys went from... I would say getting just just the setup, this whole truck setup, go from doing 20 lawns a day to like 25 a day, uh, just because it's so much faster than pulling a truck in a trailer, for example. You know, if you, you go to pull out into traffic, you know you've got to give yourself at least two car lengths because you've got your vehicle and you've got your trailer. Not to mention you got the four tires on the vehicle that you're constantly replacing. Now you've got two more on the trailer that you're going to be replacing. You're always worried about, you know, you got to pull in, you got to back it in. There's all these different things that you got to be careful of. Even darting in and out of traffic, you got to make sure you got enough room. Believe it or not, all that throughout a day's time slows you way down. That's why the guys are able to get five more lawns a day done because one, they're not as wore out as they normally are because they're not walking behind pushing mowers and whatnot. Two, they're in and out of traffic real fast. So they can, and three, they can park. They can park just about anywhere. Zip in, drop that gate, and away you go. So it's way beneficial to go to this route. I know it's expensive. Um, these trucks, you know, you can get them. I mean, we get used. I mean, we don't we don't put a brand new truck on. We buy used trucks, and we, we put as long as they're low miles uh, and they run good, tranny's good, everything's good in them. Those are the trucks we use. Throw a wrap on them, they look like a brand new truck. Um, same thing with this. You know, we, well, this is new. I mean, we put this up, but we wanted to try the aluminum just because it is lighter. Um, so as far as that goes, everything's, everything's geared to saving you time and saving you money. So if you take one day and you get five more jobs done, take that times five, that's 25 jobs that you made up in, in one week. So that's an entire day's work for, for a crew. You just saved a whole day out of a week. So you could add 24 or 25 more accounts to their list of jobs they have to get done in that week. You know, And they don't mind because they've got good equipment. Now the other thing I wanted to tell you, uh, real quick on this gravely, uh, this gravely is about $6,000, okay, a little over $6,000. So our philosophy on that is this. This is something that I think is right. We're going to see how it goes, but I believe if you buy, say you buy a new mower, it costs you $6,000. In two, It's under warranty for two years, okay? As soon as that two years is up, trade it off. Sell it. No, not even trade it. Sell it. Just sell it outright, put it on Craigslist, whatever. Get rid of the thing. And the reason I say that is... I know for a fact I can get rid of this mower for $3,000 in two years. So basically it cost me $1,500 a year to run this new mower. But it's way more productive because I'm not broke down all the time. If anything does go wrong with it, I'm not shelling out all this money like on a used mower because everything's covered. So you don't have that extra expense. And you're always running new, good-looking equipment. That mower, even if you're running a used mower, you figure the spindle's going out and this, that car, there's always something breaking on them all the time. And the older they get, the worse they get. So they become a money pit. So my philosophy, at least now, is buy it new if you can afford it. Buy it new, run it for a couple of years till the warranty's off, turn around and sell it for three grand. It basically costs you $1,500 a year to run this mower. That's like a customer and a half, okay? And you're running all new equipment. Look how you stand out from everybody else. 
every, they see this. People see this. Believe me. They, they know. They look at your equipment. They're like, boy, you guys have nice stuff. That means a lot to them. They like it. They, everybody competes with the Joneses, it seems like. If they have a, a crew that shows up in an old rusty pickup truck and rotted out trailer and their equipment's backfiring and they're always working on it out in the street and all these kind of things. And then you come pulling up doing the guy right next door and you've got a beautiful setup like this and you're always there, you're dependable, you do a beautiful job when you're there. Who do you think they're going to want mowing their grass? They're going to be calling you. Okay? When these guys get broke down and they can't be there and the customers get upset at them, they end up dropping them. Who do they call? They go over and ask Mrs. Jones who's mowing your lawn or they take that number off the side of that truck or, or our website. So hopefully you guys will understand why we do what we're doing and hopefully you can apply it to your own practice and it makes sense. Thank you very much.